There are two different modes of operation, as you would expect. So we support both FDD mode and TDD mode. It turns out that many of the initial deployments, for example, band N78 is a TDD band. Both most widely deployed bands in the mid band and the high bands are both TDD, which is probably quite good because TDD, it could be argued, is a more efficient way of using the radio spectrum, uh, not least because you can tailor the uplink downlink resource allocations in a much more efficient fashion. So where you've got very uplink heavy services, you can configure the sharing of that radio channel in such a way that you have a higher uplink than you do a downlink. The trouble with paired spectrum is that, you know, if you've got 20 megahertz paired, for example, you've got a total of 40 megahertz of spectrum in play and the uplink will never be used as efficiently uh, as say the downlink. The downlink has access to proper antennas, and uh, your proper power amplifier and so on. And the uplink doesn't have that uh, for the most part. Uh, one of the other issues with respect to this, particularly I think when you get up into the millimeter wave band, is this business of, uh, of the antenna arrays. There is a wavelength consideration here, but the thing about an uplink and a downlink is you need an uplink A to D converter and a downlink A to D converter. So in larger antenna arrays, this means the number of A to D converters that you need is suddenly very, very large and they're complicated and expensive and very power hungry things to have in your transmission system. So if you go for a TDD, then you only need one set of A to D converters actually at the antenna. So that reduces the power consumption, reduces the complexity. Yeah, TDD is, is, is quite a good system. This is probably true, little legacy spectrum. So what you own already, 3G stuff and 4G stuff, uh, that's probably mostly FDD. All right, so you need to acquire new spectrum. So this band N78 is TDD spectrum. TDD actually has a lot of advantages. It reduces the complexity of the network in some respects. It's more suited to certain types of clever antenna arrays. The one big disadvantage of it maybe uh, would be this business of synchronization. Okay, it's important that all of your TDD base stations agree on the time. In TDD mode, sometimes the base station is transmitting, sometimes the base station is receiving. So I can't have two adjacent base stations in different modes of operation. So I can't have the first base station still in transmit mode, whereby the neighboring base station has switched over into a receive mode, because that may be just interference. Because the base station, which is in a receive mode, is actually trying to receive traffic from the mobiles in its cell, and it doesn't really want to be hearing the base station just across the street. So they have to agree upon the time, and we need to switch between uplink and downlink mode very accurately and more or less at the same time.